Save the purple crayon for daddy. Hello. That jump shot is true. Each in my dough. Motherfucker. I like that. Coming. Pause. You, you have a moral finale cat. Welcome, one. <laughs> that just got really. That was pretty intense. Welcome, specifically to one person in particular, Eddie, Edward, Edward, Edward. Yeah, call this, you Edward. May I call yeah. you Edward? Uh, the first ever Patreon subscriber to the Splash Zone. Shout out to you, you beautiful, beautiful person, Absolutely. Eddie. I'm gonna be honest with you. My wife said that we shouldn't shout you out because we look thirsty. <laughs> 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 I, I I I've never listened to her before, and I'm not going to start today. <laughs> Eddie, you're our fucking boy, and don't you ever forget that or girl. I don't My know. Guy. I don't our, know. Yeah, Eddie. Eddie this, you know what? There's a movie. There's a movie that qualifies for what we're doing here that I used to. Uh, I I saw when I was a kid. It has a uh, Whoopi Goldberg in it. It's called Eddie. Yeah. So. Yep. So it's a woman. It can be either one. Yeah. It can. Oh no. Either. We don't know, but we thank you. Nope. Uh, let, let us know in the comments, uh, Eddie. Uh, how's it going? Um, <laughs> you you want to come hang out with us? <laughs> we don't have any friends. You want to? We'll, we'll we'll give you our phone numbers, Edward. <laughs> yeah, we can make a group chat, and you can tell us exactly what you think of every episode. That How is... are we doing, Katie? Are we doing good, <laughs> Katie? Is this this what you wanted? This is what you wanted, right? Sorry, I was trying to do my best version of what I thought that was. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I just realized this is the first time since we recorded a podcast where <laughs> we've had the splash zone. So like a lot of people probably have no idea what we're, we're talking about, or they might um, if they're following us on social media. But um, so we now have a a tier of Patreon called the Splash Zone, and it is a dollar fifty a month. You get all kinds of shit. You get uh, uh, what we call before the bidet. We just recorded about like 20, 30 minutes of just yeah. fucking around um, with yep. all kinds of like segments and stuff. You're going to get like I called the Splash Zone Super Show, uh, which is us just kind of very similar to before the bidet. It's just we're not recording it before we're recording a Bidet Boys episode. Uh, you're going to get live streams, watch alongs, uh, access to and so. The Splash Zone, a lot of cool things that are on there. Uh, it's only going to get better. We're we're having a ball. We're this is also still the 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 Patreon era, so all of our episodes are going to be on Patreon, which means we're going to get wild with it today, uh, just like every day. Like there are no more rules. And um, oh. God damn it, God. <laughs> none. Like none. We only have to put our phones on Do Not Disturb anymore. Screw it. Like you can yeah. know that people love us. We don't care anymore. <laughs> We don't care. I gotta figure out. How to we're sorry it. that people aren't blowing your phones up, but they're <laughs> blowing our phones up, and we're not gonna hide it anymore. Not on this Patreon era. We're just gonna go on fucking airplane mode. <laughs> and you know what? I got a milkshake right here, and I've been sitting here <laughs> wondering if I should drink it on camera, but you I don't drink. care. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. What is it? It's chocolate and banana. It's delicious. Shout out Dairy Heart. Danville, Virginia, Dairy Heart, sponsor us. Best milkshakes in Danville. When was the podcast invented? Um, I probably like early two thousands. I think. Like who had? What was the first podcast? Podcasts previously known as audio blogs have roots dating back to the nineteen eighties, with the advent of broadband internet access and portable digital audio playback devices such as the iPod. Podcasting began to catch hold in late 2004. Today, there are more than 115,000 English language spoken uh, podcasts available on the internet and dozens of websites available for distribution at little to no cost. I'm uh, not going to lie. I thought that that number would be way higher. So, like, yeah. we are one of 115,000 podcasts. Like, honestly, if you really think about how many people there are in this country, we're pretty fucking elite. <laughs> like yeah we're in the upper echelon there you are know, millions of people in this country dude 
Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Just, yeah. Um, I guess this is going to make an appearance on this because I, I did forget to tell you about this um, on our um, last. So this is a taste of what you can get on the paid uh, <laughs> um, paid Patreon for $1.50. And it is uh, Daniel's Before TikTok the corner. <laughs> Before the bidet. Where I try to uh, explain things that I learned on TikTok to Roberto. Now it's time for Daniel to explain to a grumpy old man how to use the damn TikTok. <laughs> it's Daniel's TikTok corner. Welcome to Daniel's TikTok corner, where I share things that I learned on TikTok with Roberto, and uh, I'm bad at, at telling stories. So it's just it's and it's most of the time it's going to be stuff that is like two generations younger than it, I need to be knowing about. But today, you're familiar with Redbox, right? Yes. So Redbox. Familiar with the Redbox. Is officially done as of today or yes? What? No more red box. Yeah, Sad. they. Uh, so the the crazy part of this is, is that are you familiar with the books, um, chicken noodle soup for like the, the, the yeah. So that company in 2020 bought Redbox. So for the past four mm-hmm. years, the chicken noodle soup company that writes all the books has owned. Redbox, and because they're they filed for bankruptcy, but then they just entered full on liquidation mode. So immediately, like everybody that worked for them has been let go, and uh, Redbox is no more. But the the most interesting part of that to me was that it was owned by <laughs> Chicken Hill Soup. Yeah, the, it's a wild. Know, I have the the two things about that. One, I feel like they went the way of ask jeeves so Mm -hmm. ask jeeves kind of but i got corrected i got correct the tiktoker correct me that there was some alta vista or something before that but i didn't even know what that was so who cares buddy you're wrong it's (laughs) ask jeeves that's what people knew so it's going to be ask jeeves he's actually technically correct i'm not going to be an asshole he was technically correct but ask jeeves is the one that people knew and they somehow made some zigs where they should have zagged and became not google yeah i feel like Redbox made some zigs where they should have zagged and they became not netflix yeah yeah they and and i feel like that's what they saw the chicken soup people saw when they bought it (laughs) that's one number two i read chicken soup for the teenage soul when i was a teen yeah there was a story about some girl who had all this determination to hang on to a train okay so like, the story was about determination and how it can like it can become like I guess hubris and can work against you. Yeah. So she jumped on this train, even though every like just to show all of her friends that she could jump on the train and hold on to it and whatever. So the train took off. Then the train started going a little fast. Yeah. And then it started going a little faster. It started going a little faster. And it was cold outside. Mm-hmm. And she was just holding on to this train. And the story was just about her holding on to this train in the freezing cold and her just kind of th- rethinking her decisions <laughs> and all this other stuff. Eventually, she lets go of this train and breaks her neck. I honestly <laughs> God don't rem- I, I, I honest to God don't remember anything after that. I just remember that traumatizing story. I I have to find the book. I'm sure my mom still has that book. It, horrible horrible story it involved a neck being broken a child's neck being broken because they were on a train that was going too fast while it was cold and somehow that meant that like you're supposed to chill out and not well that's really messed up somehow it means you're supposed to relax and not and not not, uh, be a show off that was kind of the purpose of the story as i remembered it uh, it seems like they have a lot of wild stories. I, I'm googling one. Uh, um, so, chicken soup for the chicken soup for the soul has a very disturbing story in which a father makes a little boy shoot a deer in order to teach him about valuing the time. Yep, that's true. That's in there. 
remember that vaguely. I remember that vaguely. Like I remember something about the deer and people hunting. Yeah. So there was a lot of little stories in there. Some of them were actually like true tear jerkers. Like you should like I don't I you should not give a teenager that book. We'll put it that way. Like well, we're not we're not emotionally complex enough to understand what to do with that type yeah. of trauma. So I'm gonna play a game with you. Are gonna tell me if this is actually a book that they have done. Or if this is something that I'm making up. <laughs> so, um, first one chicken soup for the African American soul. That's real. Chicken soup for the beach lover's soul. <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> it's probably real. Have you made up one yet? Not yet, no. Chicken soup for the girlfriend's soul. Yeah, that's true. That's a real thing. Yeah. Because they have chicken soup for the boyfriend's soul. Yeah. I had that one too. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this book like three times in my life by three different yeah. people have given it to me. My uh my family gave me the chicken soup. My and my nana gave me the chicken soup for the teenage soul. Yeah. Uh my God, dude, like seventh grade girlfriend or something gave me chicken soup for the boyfriend soul. Really? She's like, and, you need uh, this. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, I was uh uh what is it? Uh emotionally repressed emotionally repressed. <laughs> that's that's the word. <laughs> emotionally vacant or some I forgot what the word was. It was it was a pretty nice way of just saying, like, hey, you're an asshole. Um <laughs> and then uh there was chicken soup for the uh I think it's like the musician soul. I forgot what it was. It's I that one I found. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that one wasn't mine. <laughs> um chicken soup for the soul. Um colon. I can't believe my cat did that. No, it's fake. It's real. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's That's also ridiculous. one for us. <laughs> There's also one for a dog. Um Oh, there's this chicken soup for the dog lover soul. I know that. There's something like that. Yeah. Chicken soup for the NASCAR soul. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a real one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> chicken soup for the Trump supporter soul. Chicken soup for the Democrats. Is there is the political chicken soup for the Democrats soul? I don't know if they if they have that. What is the chicken soup? Is it the trom the the traumatic stories? I've I've never actually um, read them before, so I I, I don't know. <clears throat> chicken soup for the paralyzed person's soul. That's a real one. No, I made that one up. It's not. It's not a real one. That sounded like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a real one. Oh yeah, I mean that. There's just see chicken soup for the soul in menopause. That's real. That's a, I'm just reading them now. Chicken soup for the Latter Day Saint soul. That's great. Chicken soup for the Latino soul. I hope they're yeah, getting real. like adequate. That is, these are all real now. I'm just, I'm just oh. reading. <laughs> okay, so we stopped playing. Yeah. Chicken soul for the soup, hooked on hockey. Chicken soul for the soup. Is that what I said? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, is that is that honestly what's called? Because that sounds way cooler. <laughs> and I know, but I know that's not real. Like, that's yeah. not that's not a real one. But chicken soul for the soup. This is all kind of blending together, like, because it's it's just a whole ass list. Um, of these of these books and my eyes are starting to chicken soup for the soul divorce and recovery chicken soup for the soul count your blessings we don't need that one yet we're good <laughs> on the on the divorce one we don't we don't need to buy that one yet chicken soup for the chiropractic soul 
chicken soup. Do you have the gin like, soul? Do you have the gin sack? He's I hate to disappoint you, but I will have to circle back with you on that as well. <laughs> All right, so ride along. <laughs> Suck it, bombs. <laughs> so ride along came out in 2014. Have you had you seen this before? I'd, I've seen this twice before, maybe three times. It's it's a go-to for me of like, just like you need like a good movie to like take your brain out and, and watch. The, the security guard Ben must prove himself to his girlfriend's brother, top police officer, James. He rides along James on a 24-hour patrol of Atlanta. Taglines, proposed to this cop's sister, rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play some um, some trivia here. Dwayne Johnson was originally supposed to play James, and Ryan Reynolds was supposed to play Ben. Do you think this movie would have been better with Dwayne and Ben and Ryan Reynolds? No, but I do think it would have been better with uh, Ice Cube and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. I I would actually I would still watch it. Um, <laughs> this one's a, a a funny one, I guess. Uh, when Ice Cube is talking in the conference room about the 126 experience, he says, today was a good day. He's actually quoting one of his popular songs. <laughs> yeah. A little on the nose. Yeah, um, yeah I, let's just, you just want to hop in? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Any thoughts on the happening, looking back? Uh it's Chad Gable, and I just kicked it right in its throat before we came out here. I just kicked it right in the throat. And I'll yeah. do it again. I'll do it again. Like I'll, if you don't, if, like I'll I'll keep doing it until it just doesn't move yeah. anymore. Like what a stinker, stank, <laughs> like stanker. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know yeah. how that wasn't. I don't know how that wasn't like the worst. We, it. The only reason it wasn't the worst is because I somehow would watch it over. Just yeah. About. I rather watch that over Paul Blart. It's except except I can't because there's there's some funny scenes with Neil McDonough uh or Neil McDonough yeah at the end between him yeah. and Paul Blart like with the Iowa. Uh, what is it? Something put you in make wool syrup and make you sing gospel. Or gospel. Like yeah. there's, yeah. Like there's some parts that are funny in that one that I probably would watch that one again, but yeah, I, I man, the master disguise has ruined everything because it's like, you have to be, we never want to see a movie that would actually rival that. No, not at like, all. Like I, I talk a big game. I really do. I'm like, Oh, this is as bad. I don't ever want to see a movie that's actually like that. <laughs> so and that's going why, into this movie, it's not that, yeah, and I'm so happy. Yeah, and that's why we're here instead of where I think we would have been was Jungle to Jungle after Jack and Jill. Wait, no, so we would have been... Oh, yeah. I don't remember where we would have been now, but it it was a dark <laughs> timeline. It was. We were starting to get petty. I think, like, yeah. I mean, I like Jungle to Jungle was just me, like, acting out. I was just showing yeah. my ass, to be honest. Like, I was just like, you know what? If you you made me watch Jack and Jilly, son of a bitch, here's Tim Allen. Fuck you. <laughs> There's a movie called Wild Hogs. Have you seen that? Yes. Yes. I think that, I don't know if, yeah, that. That's got Chris, it, uh, Chris Rock in it and all the others, right? Like, three, two I, other guys, or three other guys. Yeah, Chris Rock. Um, John Travolta and then William H Macy, I think. Yeah, I think. It's yeah. That. So right along the <laughs> Patreon edition. So it's like fifteen minutes. So let's just strap it again. Baby, I'm nuts. 
Welcome to Ride Along. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out that, like, between this movie and the other movie, I don't know if it's, again, some of these guys have weird things in their contracts. Like, John yeah. Travolta always wants the hair, like, like, he always wants a different kind of wig. Uh, yeah. Nicholas Cage always, or Steven Seagal always wants the cars, mm-hmm. right? I think maybe Ice Cube is like, always want these, like, cliche lines or whatever because yeah, they're, trip, triple x that's all it is <laughs> it's like god bless america the things i'll do for my country like just <laughs> that's all it is and so like oh, this is gonna be a lot like that <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean yeah but i mean like this is gonna be a lot like that so if you watch yeah. this then yeah you, you're so, you'll definitely be desensitized to triple x i so this movie to me is a combination of two movies that we've done before it's like somebody took an AI and said, hey, I want you to watch Malibu's Most Wanted, and then I want you to watch Exit Wounds, and I want you to put them together and make a movie. And it turned out to be better than, I would say, probably both of those movies. Yeah. But yeah. I, I'm getting major sure. vibes from both of those and Ride Along. All right, let's get these bitches! That's like to a second floor. pretty good. All right, look, let's switch it up. And we'll space, me and you, we gonna go around back. Copy that. Watch your friendly fire. Hey, hey, listen, guys. Remember, if they throw grenades, you got five seconds to pick that grenade up and throw it back. Stop, Ange. Don't start. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. The real world needs better. Okay, Ange, stop playing. Do you enjoy this? Look what you're doing. On. Look, look at what you're doing right now. Stop. 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 Hey, oh. Not again, Ben. No, no. Oh. Oh. Hi, Angela. Even soldiers have to get to work on time. So what are you, what are your thoughts on their relationship like early on in this movie? I honestly man like I I find what she just did to be a sign of like that's not going to work. Really? It's not because it's a game because I understand that that's like it's not about that. It's really not about the game. It's about do you support your person and what they're doing? Yeah. And so there are 50 other ways to do that. Like I don't know. My wife just pretty much says, hey, babe. And then I just stop and then I go. But like, I don't think yeah. my wife would ever come up and just like take something from me. Oh, yeah. But al- but also he I, apparently he had been sitting there forever, I guess, ignoring her. So, yeah, there's also that. So when you factor that in, I guess it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I, I also don't think we're the type of people that would sit for five hours and just ignore somebody like that. I think. We're, yeah. We're, no, we're, no, we're just, for sure. Yeah, I don't think that I could yeah, sit and all, just sit and play uh, speaking, a game for five hours anyway. No, not at all. Uh, that's about when I pull my penis out and it hits the ground. Instead, you shoot up a mall full of civilians like it's a damn video I game. Laughed. And for what? Fake passports? Thinking those would lead us to Omar. Of course you were. Do you know how many man hours we spent on this case? And in two and a half years, you've had no breaks. So enough of this shit. So that's, he's, he's was in Bullet Wins. So we could have gotten here sooner if he wanted to. Oh, an exit wound, you mean? That guy? Yeah, yeah. He was the guy oh. that was having the same conversation with Steven Seagal to start the movie that he is having in this one to Ice Cube. So are, are we to maybe understand that like this is the same precinct? And we're, wait, I, they, were, they in, were they in L.A. or were they in New York? Uh, I think they're in L.A. Yeah, I think so. There's okay, no house so Maybe this is New the York. same. Yeah, the same same precinct maybe, but they're in Atlanta here. Is this in Atlanta? Yeah. See, because that I don't know. I don't know because that that first scene definitely was in Los Angeles. I recognize those streets. Just that scene though, like with the cars. Yeah. Like where he said something about he's nuts, like the. I think that they filmed that on specifically maybe Figueroa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the, I know that road. I just I know where it is. Yeah. Ride Along takes place in Atlanta, Georgia. Where was Ride Along filmed? Like all of it? Was it all filmed in Georgia? Uh, I could be I, wrong. I, I want to say yes, just because I know that Georgia has that like subsidy for films. That's why, like, The Walking Dead all films there, and like a lot of places film in Georgia. Yeah. And then they have but, that big peach thing at the end of it. 
Okay, so the movie right along was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia, and Los Angeles, California. Okay, yeah, that I think it was just that scene though. Yeah, because that's the road that they'll close off easily and film mm -hmm. like all types of shows filmed there. Like, yeah, like White Collar was a USA Network show that was shot mostly in Toronto because it's trying to look like New York, but they mm -hmm. would film the the chase scenes in yeah. uh, Los Angeles. They're um. There's uh, a show called Outer Banks on Netflix, and it's um, it's kind of like a, a teen treasure hunting romance thing. Probably not something I thought I would enjoy, but it's really great. Besides the point, they like they filmed it in Charleston, but they would like takes place in in UNC, so they like had to make Charleston look like UNC. So they just put little um, UNC flags on like a light pole in Charleston. That was a bad digression. Uh, <laughs> play Jin Sack. <laughs> That's what she's. But I will have to circle back with you on that as well. Right along. Filmed in LA and Atlanta. It's terrible. I'm not taking anything away from you. Am I wrong? Am no, I wrong? That's, <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's perfect. I honestly I forget where this little thing is. This is from Mario, right? That it's little from thing. Mario, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're spot on. I just was forgetting where I'd seen that before, but I yeah. now remember. Yeah. This is why this it took me so long to get to this movie because like I just I went nuts with the. Why do I have to suck up to the brother just because she wants us to get along? And it'd be easier, but he's still upset because I set him on fire. What? It's bad. Dag on propane now. What I did. Hold, hold on. Hey! He's a security your guard. Your wife. You don't fight, you can't run. You know why you can't run? Because you got no feet. What did you think of his character in this? Kevin Hart's character was very Paul Blardish in the beginning. Like he's yeah. very like he makes it very apparent that like I'm I'm bet I'm more than a security guard. Like that's yeah. that's his thing. But yeah. just while we're this story was great. Yeah, this story is. like him just breaking down this whole dude's uh <laughs> life. It should he just go with these guys and get in this car is I mean, it's so detailed, and I just yeah. loved every bit of it, like all of it. Man, I laughed throughout all of this shit. Box. Here's the thing: <laughs> you're lonely, you're in the gutter, and you're legless. Is that what you want? Huh? Yeah. You can't stop no, this is, I just uh, died uh, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you well, sent me this. Yeah, this I did. Crazy. This. So this dude, um, Brian Callen, a piece of shit, and I feel like he like. So when people say cancel culture is a thing, sure, to a certain extent, but it's a thing for like two months and then you're back doing whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's it's buddies bad. with, with Chris D'Elia, who's also back uh, after being a pedophile, allegedly. Um, but this dude has a history of, of being aggressive towards women. Multiple women have came out. Um, yeah. So you could you could take time to read this, but uh Diago's mom, man. You can only hope to contain. I mean, you know, he's short, but maybe when he takes his pants off, it's just like oh, what is Well, well, well. It's the goddamn scumbag of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, grandma. <laughs> Thanks, President Obama. <laughs> you lack hammer? You want the hammer? Want the then hammer. go get the hammer. Okay, yeah. enough of that nastiness. Oh my God. Ah! That's the that was extra yeah it was like, the underrated underrated part of all that is him pushing mm -hmm. her away yeah to run away like him sacrificing her to run away like that's yeah that should get the the it's well 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 it's the damn scumbag of the week <laughs> <laughs> Put the ice pack in his mouth, not on his head. Don't put the ice pack on my head, baby. Is, so I think that was your your nominee for Parker Posey of, of this episode, correct? Or What's was that? it uh, her? And that's it, or was it a different one, Marin? I think it was. I think it was. Uh, hang on, let me find it. I think it's really because he pushed her. I think that's yeah. why I did it. Yeah, oh, that yeah, was so really a lie. <laughs> I'm going to so, just guess that without being able to confirm on my notes. Yeah. Um, I'm sensitive to extreme measures of cold. You know that. You know put it on your head. Woman, it's just one thing standing in the way. 
I was wondering if I could get your blessing to ask Angela to marry me. James. Did, did you hear what I said? I had to go. Yeah, okay. I really like Kevin Hart's character in this. I just think it's fun. I don't know if it's good, but it's fun. But I think yeah. Ice Cube is kind of a big old piece of shit for most of this movie. I think it's weird that uh, like most of my notes revolved around just how weird it is for people to be territorial over like their. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess it's not if it's not it's not that he's territorial over her. It's that she requires his approval. That's weird. to Yeah. Me. Yeah. Like it's. It's just it. I don't know. I've never known people that are. I mean, I guess I've met people like that, but I've never yeah. had people in my life that were important, that were just like. I mean, uh, it's kind of like when you ask like for the hand in marriage, though. I think, and since we learn later that they don't have parents, he would be the go-to. But it. I mean, it, it's also kind of a weird. Yeah, this is like right here is. Uh, despite the fact that I asked Katie's father if I could marry her, and despite there being no issue with either party that required me to ask, I did that out of respect, and I don't understand when it would be required. It seems somewhat ancestral to let your yeah. father or brother or whomever choose your mate. You know, like it to me, why not just be like do an arranged marriage if you feel that way? Yeah, like if you feel that they have to approve, then like just let them pick them. Mm -hmm. yeah it's weird yeah i i I also asked as well but they were like it, it was like that's what you're supposed to do like it, it's just like tradition and all that kind of just i mean but i, I feel like i would have felt differently if she had i mean i probably would have still done it but i would have felt differently if she had like needed me to do that mm -hmm. you know yeah. like even he was kind of taken back by it i guess people in the north are kind of different yeah <laughs> Uh, I think I think that's up to her, buddy. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my father-in-law is awesome. Yeah, he sounds like it. Do they still live up north, or are they? Yeah, yeah, they still live in New Hampshire. Awesome. They have like a lake house. It seems like a New Hampshire ass thing to have. No, they have a house that's like, uh, it's uh, it's off of a highway, but in a way, it's kind of like out the backyard you think you're in the country but the front yard it's like kind of a busy highway or not a highway a busy uh busy road as like a hand of those roads that... say, it's the best of both worlds right yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're they're like really those types of people that can build everything they remodeled their own kitchen like it looks yeah. great like all these other things and they just fill their days up with like we we model them where you're like you're you're a adulting like you're thriving yeah. as an adult like i just copy what i see them do them and my dad <laughs> just between yeah. them two i'm like oh I'm, i'll get somewhere with this yeah let me go ahead and build a, a patio but um i hate to disappoint yeah. you but i will have to circle back <laughs> with you on that as well oh uh, <laughs> i don't i don't get it tomorrow i'm gonna take you on a ride along ah, ah, he said it he said it <laughs> dude you didn't tell me you had a car like this What's under the hood? A 5.7 liter Hemi? Definitely product placement, right? Yeah, for sure. Because this is a Hellcat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How much money do you think the garage had to pay for that place placement? How much do I think they had to pay? Yeah. That car. You think they just gave him the car? Yeah. How much does... A, a, like a brand new Hellcat? Yeah, probably. But you don't. Do you think that's all they had to give them? Just like, hey, here's this car. Yeah. Some brand placement agents charge a flat fee of twenty to forty. Um. Oh well, maybe. I just feel like 20. if our, if we were famous for taking shits, like Lux Bidet yeah. would would just want to try to get their logo on our bodies. Mm -hmm. or under our asses like that yeah. would be their goal it wouldn't necessarily be like 
I mean, I guess the athlete, the sponsored athlete, would want the compensation, but for a movie, it's kind of different than just another person. So maybe well, that was a terrible. It, I, it definitely waters down your product when there's obvious product placement. So you definitely have getting paid for that to like kind of sell your soul a little bit. Yeah. You know what the first the first product placement was? John Deere. No, it was um, uh, in ET the Reese's. That was the first ever product placement. Huh. Mm-hmm. So but ET fact, fucked it up for everybody. Yeah, ET started it. Um, I I don't know if you uh, you mentioned uh, White Collar is a uh, USA show. There's another USA show yep. that I, I watched. Uh, Psych. Have you ever seen Psych? Oh yeah. They have the weird like Snyder's of Hanover pretzel product placement. Oh, yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that and pineapples. They're like yeah. great. <laughs> it's, and then like the. Awesome. the Toyota Yaris, I think, is another one. Like, very, yep. very obvious ones. But, um... Quick! To the blueberry! Don't you? But I will have to circle back with you on that as well. <laughs> uh, I like that. When they co- I liked when they just would call Gus's car the blueberry. Just quick! To the blueberry! <laughs> Should we just do a psych podcast where we watch psych? That would be a nice watch along. That would yeah. be a nice watch along. Like, we maybe we watch along like some decent shit. <laughs> <laughs> bad stuff all the time yeah uh, uh i'm excited for this next scene uh oh. he's out on signal 12 hey jane give me all the 126s you got today everything the crazier the better send it straight to me you want 126s yeah the more annoying the better police code 126 can have multiple meanings including intercept suspects battery resulting in serious bodily injury and an annoying situation. Thanks for asking Jeeves, the official search engine of the B-Day boys. Do it. <laughs> of course you can't pronounce their name right. Yeah, it's okay. can't do anything right, Jeeves. Oh. This thing was a little weird for me. What's with the tightness? Dry fit compression shirt. Keeps my body dry. It wicks the moisture. Put I think this is part of placement. Don't take it off. But it, it is weird that he's like, why is your shirt, shirt so tight? Like, this movie was filmed in 2014. He's like, "The fuck? Up? What is? It? I've never seen that before." Like, he's like the way he explains his clothes. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like, and by the way, we can confirm now. My dad listens to this. Like, like, like he listened to it before, but like he listens to this now. Like he knows I'm talking about him, all that stuff. So I don't care anymore. Yeah. I'm just letting it loose. He speaks about his clothes like this. <laughs> your dad does like he will he, yeah he will describe like yeah it's reversible yeah it's got air weight, like, <laughs> like he will describe this clothes in depth like he loves like some multifunctional clothing yeah. telling you man there was a but, guy i worked with um his name was chad um wild dude grew his own um weed mushrooms like he introduced me to the dead and all all that stuff good guy um Somebody that I probably, if I asked him to, would kill somebody for me, which is a little concerning that I have that power. Um, yeah. But he always wore the um, the khaki pants that had the zip off to become shorts. That seems right. like a the, car, uh, the cargos. Yeah, they're like new yeah. uh, North Face and like hundred bucks. Like they're not like the ones like in yesteryear, but uh, yeah. The outdoor ones. Yeah. Not. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to sweat in them either. Nice. It's going to keep my body dry. Wix it. <laughs> Wix it. Now, this is not the high school quad. Yes. All right. Don't go over there talking to those lions meowing like a pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he just ad libs these and they're like, ah, oh, fuck. Also, does he just go by Ice Cube or like, like you know how Dwayne they'll call? Him, oh, Dwayne, you need to. They don't just call him The Rock. Like, does he? I don't even know what his real name is. Do you? They just call him Cube. They just Cube? Call him Cube. Yeah. I don't actually know. I was thinking about that today. I've only ever knew him as Ice Cube. Yeah. It's it's it starts with a Q. I know that. Like it starts with the letter Q. I think. How confident are you that it starts with starts with the letter Q? I'm not. <laughs> O'Shea Jackson Jr. Okay, I'm seeing an O, not a Q. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this like Google has like people also ask, why did Ice Cube name himself that? 
This is a hot weird. day. <laughs> uh, Ice Cube has credited his older brother Clyde with the conception of his stage name. When they were children, Clyde threatened to put his younger brother into the freezer until he became an Ice Cube. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good old child abuse. <laughs> what did that just mean? You'll figure it out. What is, what is not being understood? <laughs> that looks you like the big show, but it's not. You guys think you tough because you're in a little game? You want to know what tough looks like? Hmm? I'm the definition of tough. My mother was a stripper. Yeah. Dan's name was Asphalt. <laughs> Anybody else here been raised by a woman who clapped her ass for money? The scene was it was going really well for me, but it kind of goes off the rails. You wouldn't last a day in my world. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen quick, fast, and in a hurry. You, you're gonna go get yourself some Purell and some baby wipes. You're gonna clean this shit up. Do I make myself clear, Mister? Huh? That's not a Mister. That's my wife. I don't know what the hell you've been looking at, but I'm looking at a damn man. I'm looking at him. That might be a woman. There's a chance of that. I don't care what it is. I'm not gonna argue with you over the sex of this thing. On all you bitches. You think you gonna do this shit to me? You'll be playing basketball in Pelican Bay. You program. All right, I'll go check it out. Right, catch you later, baby. King Kong ain't got shit on me. So. <laughs> got a little problematic towards the end there. Um, it's 2014. Recent enough to where that's not okay. Well, I think the point that we're making now is that that probably was never okay. But oh, one hundred percent. But like, we also but, know, like, I, but I mean, I, 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 Obama is our president. I don't, I, I don't necessarily think that that was that kind of joke. I don't think so either. I just think it wasn't executed. I think. I think it was more of like she's handsome kind of joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it wasn't it yeah. wasn't yeah. like like she the just, new the new the new guy that was that kind of joke. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't I don't think, think that's was, what they did. Yeah. But uh yeah, I I agree with you on that. It wasn't it definitely wasn't that. Oh you did. Yes I did. No, you James. did. James, that's you were so happy to see me, you damn near jumped in my lap. Is that is Angela. Where are they now? William Anderson Mathis, better known to us as Bubba Sparks, set the early 2000s on fire with his hit songs Ugly and Miss New Booty. But where is Mr. Sparks today? Well, if we look at his Instagram, we can find out that he is in Hotlanta, the ATL. Atlanta, this has been Where Are They Now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was low key informative. I had no idea what happened to Bubba Sparks. He's still doing it. As soon as I, as soon as I heard that song, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I yeah. remember that song. This new... <laughs> Get it together and bring it yeah. back to me. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I hit the players club for dancing yeah. to. Oh, <laughs> That was that was the time. That was the yeah. time. And if we look here, uh, here's Brian Callen, the alleged rapist that we spoke about earlier. Right here on this on his yeah list. that yeah that's him. Oh my god! Wait, is this the music video for Miss New Booty? Yeah. Also, oh, he was in the mu music video for Miss New Booty. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh wow, that's yeah, that's, that's odd. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of freaky. Like, uh, the ATL Atlanta. This has been Where Are They Now? <laughs> little man, what are you talking about? I'm not the little man, you are. Hey, don't start this if you don't want to finish. Start what? What you about, 310, 311? Yeah, but you know what I'm going to do. Bro, what you going to do? Stretch? You hope. Say something, boy. I'm a man. And she need to stop fronting too, bro. Don't tell Talk to you. Ball up. I think we're confirmed in like the adult movies. Uh, better kid characters. You what? That, this that is kid's bullshit. fucking cool bullshit. Shit. Is my... See, wait, I have a question though. Cause okay, so in the Ninja Turtles, when he what? threw that 
whatever it was and knocked the ooze, the yeah. ooze can out of his hand, you were like, that yeah. doesn't seem realistic. He just asked somebody for a football who just threw it to him. No, no questions asked. Yeah. And then beamed a dude dead in the head with like no warm up, no nothing. That's that's why so, it's that's why it's in here. Is because it is wild. Okay. He just yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I was like, <laughs> I can see, I feel like at least I've been like looking at that like I feel like I could do that. If I think somebody I took could. off running, you pass me a, a football, I feel like I could hit him right in the back of the head. I think I sure. could I I seventy five percent sure I could do it. I'm I at least gonna get him in the I'm at least gonna get him in the back. Uh, yeah. But is, is the football gonna do anything? Is it gonna knock you down? I think I'd probably I mean, just been, it, if Michael Vick threw that shit at you, probably. <laughs> if Michael launched a laser at you like back in his Atlanta Falcons days, yeah. like you you probably concuss you. Mm-hmm. It would yeah. it would be like getting power bombed without mm. like no, with no break like no no break yeah. ball just just straight head, yeah, uh, like getting power bombed like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of Michael Vick, Madden 04. Uh, oh yeah, Michael Vick on the cover, like the yeah, best Madden really. player ever. Oh yeah, well Bo Jackson is the best Madden player ever. Well, he was in Tech Mobile. He wasn't in Madden. Yeah. Well, I guess he is. He was in the later ones, technically, like when mm-hmm. they started doing the older players. But yeah, Michael Vick was unstoppable. Oh yeah. He couldn't. I remember. Uh, what a nice full circle story, um, for him re- rehabilitating after when he went sent him to jail. But I, jo- like I joined the Michael Vick fan club. <laughs> Like a month before that happened, <laughs> I don't know why I, I I wanted to join the Peyton Manning fan club, but they, for some reason, I wasn't able to. So I was like, let's just do Michael Vick, <laughs> and I got like a I, little football. I, you got football for being in the club. Was yeah, it, it, was, it was a nice football. No, but it said like Michael Vick seven on it, so I just like crossed it out because it was a really nice football. <laughs> <laughs> the sharpie, yeah. Man, uh, I heard a comedian. I can't remember like what it was. But it was in some like stand-up special, and I always thought it was a good point. They were like, "Would Michael Vick have gotten the same time if he had done the same exact crimes, same exact crimes, but make it a cat?" No, not at all. I don't even think. Right. Go to jail. Yeah. Correct. And so, like <laughs> that guy was just like, "How fucked up is that?" That like he's. <laughs> His tick was to fight dogs as opposed to fighting cats. And he's yeah. like, did he like he was more saying, like, could he really rehabilitate himself or did he just start fighting cats? <laughs> and like, it was just this dumbass joke, but it was just yeah. really funny to think about. Like, yeah, if he did all of that shit, if he was literally like all of it. Drowning kitties. Uh, Yeah, I don't, I think I think you'd get cricket. I think PETA would be pissed, but everybody yeah. else crickets. Yeah, you'd probably get. You yeah, it'd be severe, but it wouldn't be at. It'd be far less severe. You can't like. It, yeah. It's just like you what you said. What you said, drowning it. kitties. Uh, that yeah. That See, yeah, it's, yeah, but but that's what it is. They're just grown kitties. What do you mean? Yeah. Like <laughs> a cat is just a grown kitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't. You can't do the cute factor. <laughs> no, I just meant like cat at all. Like I guess like I. I don't know. No, it's terrible. But it's that, a, that was a fun. It, yeah, it's very it's funny, funny but, then, <laughs> but then the visual went in my head, and, and well, now it's then then now now we've gotten full circle to the Steven Seagal one where he said yeah. he beat somebody <laughs> with a cat, and you were asking me like, well, how would that happen? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. well, I guess it would have to be a skull. <laughs> it would have to be the skull, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> but, next, but how dark is this? Now how dark have we gotten? <laughs> Jin, Jin, Jin. I think that required that instead of a uh, instead of gym. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 I don't know why it's on repeat, but but yeah, uh, it's football. He hits him with the football. I got a real shaky relationship with the truth. What are you- Another one. We could need like a DJ Khaled one. Another one for when like yeah. this. <laughs> 
you say Shaky. Them Did you take a swing at me? You reach for my. No, 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 this I think I don't think this qualifies but I think this is a fucker pose you work comedy I mean nah that's not his kid I know like putting your hands on somebody else's kid this is, yeah oh okay I thought you said that might not yeah a newbie a newbie you have any idea what level player I am no you have no idea my gamer tag is spoken in hushed terms of awe and envy. When I log on, people go crazy. Oh my god, Black Hammer's in. Black Hammer. Shit's not real. You'll be lost in my world. Black Hammer will not help you. <laughs> I'm with that one. This is like... I feel like Kevin Hart gets a bad rap, but like everything that he's in, I enjoy him in. It's weird because I always go into it thinking like, oh my god, another Kevin Hart movie. And then I always like come out of it like, man, that dude's funny. I don't it's I the weirdest think thing. I, maybe get hard. I remember. I think that I probably still enjoyed that. But like Central Intelligence, right along to Jumanji. All great Kevin Hart vehicles. I think I've seen this, how high, and maybe one or two other movies he's been in. Okay. Yeah. He's that not... I like can that I can like think about mm -hmm. right off the top of my head. But yeah, he's he's one of those guys where it's like I go into it not expecting yeah. much of him and then end up getting a lot like a lot more than yeah. what I thought. I think any time Ice Ice Cube sometimes Ice Cube's like the opposite. Yeah. You get your hypes yeah. up and then he's just like a I just you forget that he's not an actor. Like you yeah. know, you forget he's not an actor, and then you get mad when he can't. He is, act. A, he is a actor. Like he's done this enough to where he is an actor. But I mean, that's not like he's not a like he's he's not he's not a thespian. There we go. Yeah, he's like, he's not good. He's not going to do Broadway. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. not an actor. <laughs> like like William yeah. H is an actor. Like he yeah. so. I would expect William H. Macy to be able to eat up these scenes, even if it is him playing the same character yeah. that Ice Cube's playing right now. But I don't think Ice Cube could play Frank Gallagher. I just mm. don't. No, not at all. I do have a question. <laughs> this is a question we, we ask every, and I'll need you to make me a sound for this. Um, would this movie be better if Ice Cube was played by Jason Statham? This would be the one movie where no. Yeah, I was because Ice Cube makes a lot of jokes that Jason Statham couldn't make. Yeah, they would have to rewrite the script for him. Yeah, yeah, it would be a different comedy. It would be a more like stiff buddy comedy. Like he wouldn't be as much of a. Ice Cube is a legitimately menacing figure. Mm -hmm. Like he 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 projects that in all of his roles. Like he's, he's probably, really good at that. He's probably killed somebody. Yeah. For I'm, sure. gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna google has ice cube killed somebody but well we don't want to be the podcast that says that like i don't want <laughs> ice cube to come and kill my whole family but uh that would mean that ice cube uh, listens to our podcast which would be pretty cool would it be worth it no, no 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 i have a good life i have a good life i would love to i would rather keep my life than ice cube listen to this podcast i might regret saying that one day yeah so <laughs> maybe we're look we're looking for the ice cube rub one day and I've I've been quoted yeah. as saying this. So this I'm gonna read you ten rappers who have actually killed people. You ready? Snoop Dogg's killed somebody, right? I, I don't know. Uh Rod Shug Diggs. Knight. Do you know who Rod Shug Diggs Knight's is? Killed, no. Shug Knight's killed somebody. Shug C Knight's Murder. <laughs> C Murder is is on this list. Dresta. JD, Mac Minister, Max B. I've not heard of any of these people. Yeah, Shy, because they're in jail. <laughs> Ali, G Dep, Cassidy, Big Lurch, and uh, Snoop Dogg. That's a pretty like weird. Shug Knight. I don't think he's a rapper. I think he's a record. Uh, uh, he was the CEO yeah. of mm -hmm. Death Row Records. He's killed two people. 
Yeah, definitely. A third. Or he's or he's killed one man and ran over a second. I can't remember. He ran over a dude. We yeah. all saw that. Speaking of, of ran over a dude, if you want to know about Matthew Broderick's um manslaughter, <laughs> <laughs> check out the uh before the bidet on um the Patreon. It, it's a it's a fun time. Uh, but speaking of another fun dollar, time, dollar fifty, dollar fifty for the splash well, zone, same just, cost as a Costco hot dog. Can I just say something? You won't sure. even notice it's gone. Every month, what? you'll eat the dollar fifty. Oh, oh, you no, won't even you won't. you won't even notice it's gone. And you know, you know how I know that, guys. I mm. know that because when you go to the actual Costco or Sam's Club, wherever you like, yeah, we're not we're not biased here. They get you that way. You spend 20 bucks. You're like, oh, man, it's a great deal. $19. But you see 15 deals that say that. Mm-hmm. And then you end up getting all of that. And you walk up there and you're wondering how you got to 500 bucks. <laughs> but but it's not going to be that way. Because all you have to do yeah. is take that 12 and times it by that one and get that 12. And then you take that 50 cents and times it by that 12 and you get that six. And then you add those two together and you get that 18. That's $18. $18 a year for extra content. $18 a year. That's yeah. literally like we set it up just like Costco does. It's just <laughs> under $20. <laughs> it's just under $20. It's a dollar yeah. fifty. Because they're hoping that you come in there every month and get a hot dog. Yeah. And they'll get you that way too. And you know what? It's brilliant. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. So yeah. And thank uh, you, corporate daddy Costco. The, the real reason we're doing this is because um, if we can tell our wives that we're making money doing this, then we have a little bit more we, le, le, God, I'm having a stroke. leeway with <laughs> time and whatnot. Like, we're not just fucking around. We're out here making, we're putting food on the table. We're putting oh, dogs yeah. on the table. Yeah. Look, the more you guys pay, the more we'll put out. Actually, we might yeah. put out start putting out two of these a week if we get paid enough. <laughs> like I'm just saying, guys. Like you know, <laughs> listen, guys. I'll be honest. You got, you might not care about my day to day, but my wife is pretty happy. You know, Eddie Eddie made my wife pretty proud of me. Okay, <laughs> like my wife looked at me in a little bit of a different way than when she's just like, "Oh, you and Dan going out there to do your little thing." It was always <laughs> your little thing. But once Eddie started paying this, it was your podcast. You see the difference? Listen, guys, help us out. Help us out. And we'll help you out in return. Yeah. And buy t-shirts. Buy full price buy t-shirts. t-shirts. <laughs> Please buy t-shirts. <laughs> buy t-shirts. Buy tickets to Firestar. Do a lot of stuff for us. Like yeah. just Firestar's having an entire residency at Boxcar for the foreseeable <laughs> future by the time you listen to this podcast. So please come on yeah. out. Yeah, come on out. June. Yeah, this will have already passed. Uh, Wrestle Revival, August 23rd. No, it'll be August 2nd. We'll be at Boxcar. Then there's a Southern Pond. Yeah. Like, we're touring until yeah, like yeah. the end of September. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. Smith and Weston 500. Let me get that. Right. It's a good choice, Andy. Smith and Weston. You like that choice. You like it. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Bang, bang. Oh. Shit. Did you feel that? No, ain't no problem. It's just. Got it? I'll do that thing like you know how to do that. You know what? All this to go back and say, Kevin Hart, very enjoyable. I don't know. I don't know how we got there. Denzel, training them. Hey, you might want to step back a little bit. This thing got a little kick to it. Okay? Freeze! You better stop before I put a hole in your back. Are you thinking today? Oh, it's on that! Oh, shit! <laughs> got a little bit of kick to it. I also think that he gives his absolute all to his to this role. Like he puts he puts it all in there. And that's I think why this is a good movie is because he's not half assing it. Like I don't I don't know that you could say Kevin James was giving Paul Blart his all. Yeah, no, Kevin 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 came to play. He's got his yeah. game face on. He came he came to make plays. Today. My stomach in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you ready for the street. <laughs> No, here's some freak honey shit. Uh, what do you want me to do? Quit playing. That's it. You're going to jail. No, no. no. You're, going to jail. Stop. You're going to jail. Come on. Stop. Do your job, man. man. Ow. That's the least brutality. Let the dude go, man. His heart is broken, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't nobody hurting him. Dude, get up. 
finish this, man. Quit playing. What are you doing? It's just shit. Get it, bitch. Felon. Come on, Ben. You go nowhere. Get out. Get out of here. Don't stop. Hey, qu question, babe. You ever heard of a 126? Yeah, it's a cop code for an annoying situation nobody wants. They do it to rookies. It's a, it's a joke. Oh, hot damn. Y'all thought old Jeeves was full of shit, didn't you? Put some respect <laughs> on my name or I'll find out where you live and take a shit on your kid's bike. Thanks for asking, Jeeves. The official search engine of the B Day Boys. <laughs> Thanks, Jeeves. Watch it again. Jeeves, thank you. <laughs> Can you please say it again, Jeeves? You ever heard of a 126? Yeah, it's a cop code for an annoying situation nobody wants. They do it to rookies. It's a, it's a joke. Oh, hot damn. Y'all thought old Jeeves was full of shit, didn't you? Put some respect on my name or I'll find out where you live and take a shit on your kid's bike. Thanks for asking, Jeeves. The official search engine of the B-Day Boys. I think this is a good time to announce that August will be... <laughs> Ask Jeeves August. <laughs> Ask where, Jeeves August. Where every movie that we watch is picked by somebody else. So our wives yeah. have have picked a movie um, each. Um, we're going to have a very talented, very funny wrestler, uh, Yaya, on to watch Shark Tales. That's going to be yeah, fun. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then your dad, shout out. What's your dad's name? <laughs> Rob. Shout out, Rob. <laughs> this is big, big Roberto Sr. Big Robbie, <laughs> big 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 Rob, big Rob. <laughs> Shout out, big Rob. He's picking the Power Rangers, one of the Power Rangers movies. We're Turbo doing... Power Rangers movie. We're doing yeah. Turbo. It's the it's the whatever one is the worst rated one. He he made sure to say whichever one's the worst because I made him watch both. <laughs> so he's like whichever one's the worst because you need to watch that. So that's a little payback that's what there. We're doing. Um, uh, Katie yeah. picked what movie again? Santa, Santa Slay. Slay. Now, funny part before someone says it, it it's thirty six percent. But Katie doesn't care because this is yeah. a, a the thirty five percent was a male instituted rule, and she does not respect male institutions. So I, I, as as she should. Yeah. So yeah. respect. That's my uh, wife. I love yeah. her. <laughs> what a firecracker! Yeah, and then uh, Emily picked um, Twilight New Moon. Yeah, so, I didn't. <laughs> I need some explanation because I just all I got was a poster, oh. and I just stared at it for a while. Like, <laughs> I mean, without actually knowing like much, honestly, like a lot about Emily. Yeah, uh, like that. That was like, why would you? Is she a is she a Twilight fan or does she hate it? Uh, we uh, sometimes in a weekend will um, participate in the. Um, herb of the lord and watch all of the movies because they're 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 kind of they're kind of bad in a in an enjoyable way so you guys like twilight <laughs> i wouldn't say that we like twilight um <laughs> but we we sometimes partake <laughs> it's okay you like twilight it's all right it's okay, okay. it's okay but you might like it too have you seen any of the movies I feel like I watched the first one, but it's too. Uh, I I just don't care about who you're dating. Just show me some fucking cool action. Like, plus <laughs> I'm more of a werewolf guy. Yeah. So like vampires Wait. aren't my shit anyway. Like Can I. Tell you I something? What's that? There's a big there's a big uh, werewolf storyline in the second Twilight. I did know that Jacob, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's he's a consistent. Uh, he's like a. See, way I know a lot of these movies are because they were so larger than life at the time that they became like pop culture. 
So you don't mm-hmm. actually have to watch the movies to know some of the yeah. knowledge from it because people are making yeah. jokes about it. Yeah. So team Jacob, Jacob team was, Edward. yeah. So I would definitely be team Jacob for sure. Just based upon mm-hmm. the fact that he's a werewolf. I love werewolves, man. Thank you. <laughs> like, yeah. Where werewol- like, where will honestly like werewolves and bipolar people have a lot in common like mm. when the moon starts coming out we start acting a little weird and you wake Back. up in 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 strange places with your clothes all ripped to shreds with blood all over you mental institutions believe it or not mm-hmm. <laughs> that's dark technical difficulty me dad Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nothing. Hey, babe, let me let you go. I, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Say, today was a good day. Eh, eh, he said it. He said it. <laughs> I do it now. Yo, everybody on the floor. Get on the ground. On the ground. Stop. It's not real. It's fake. Okay? Man, you got to be kidding me. You gonna pull out a gun when you looking at this? Huh? Get down, baby. I didn't, I didn't know it was this much of a height difference. Thank you. I'm a tip you. Get 101. <laughs> I got you in a second. No, James, they got hostages. You crazy? Yeah, I am crazy. Only thing that kill crazy is a bullet. You got that bullet? Huh? You kill crazy? Kill crazy. Bitch, get out of here. Come on. Yo, I'm gonna do this, fool. Do me. Do me. in the car you're done wow it's just kevin hart so good in this i i can't see i can i can't see why this movie is as badly rated as it is if you're looking yeah, at that it, was weird if you're i guess like are you looking at like the like oh i have a rubric on what is cinema, cinema and this doesn't apply <laughs> like this is fun like i think that's what you, makes the movie good is you if you have fun. <laughs> you know what they did you know what they did. <laughs> you know what they did. This might have been different. We all know what they did. <laughs> if it was Jason Statham and Ryan Reynolds in this motherfucker, yeah. we'd be looking at about a five star movie. Almost don't count. So you done. Let's go. No, I'm not done. I want to talk some more. I got something else I want to say. I may not be a cop right now, James, but I will be. You hear me? I will be. And there is nothing that you can do about that. No. I do not give you my blessing. I don't need your blessing. Preach. This isn't Afghanistan. <laughs> I'm not about to buy her with a goat. <laughs> that girl loves me, man. That girl loves all of this. You want to be crazy? You, you, you want to be crazy? I'll show you crazy. You better tell me what I'm doing. You better tell me what I'm doing. You better tell me what I'm doing. Oh, shit. She shot me. When they're a team like this, I enjoy them both very much. Yeah. When he's in on it, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like him being an asshole. Like Kevin Hart, he's like good just, he's yeah, he's very too and it almost seems like the asshole that he's being is overkill. I think like the he's, asshole he's being is just himself. Like I think Ice yeah. Cream actually is like an asshole. Like, but not but he's just I mean he lives his own life. He has his own yeah. reasons for being how he is. But I mean, I just think that like, you know, he's rough around the edges and always has been. And like, he's able, like probably not anymore, but he's uh-huh. able to like summon that, like to go and find that person yeah. and be that for his characters. So yeah. he's probably just too good at playing an asshole. And it's, <laughs> it's almost like MJF, like MJF's not, a, he's not a face. I don't care. He's not a face. If he's a face, he's just a face that everybody's waiting to turn heel again. Like he's he's not a face. He's yeah. always gonna be a heel. That's all he's ever gonna be. I'm sorry. I I <laughs> hope I'm not making anybody sad or whatever, but like he's the greatest. I literally have a I have a, a picture of him over here. It's because he's a heel. Because he's mm-hmm. a he's a huge asshole. So that's kind of what Ice Cube's uh victim of here. Yeah. He's got but Ice Cube people like him being a face. But he's better at being yeah. a heel. It is also uh, funny that he has like a, a renaissance uh, as a career playing a cop. Like the irony is is, yeah. is not lost on me. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been playing cops and like or yeah. cops or soldiers or whatever in a lot of these movies. And yeah, I him and fucking um, 
Ice T. Yeah, Ice T was uh, he's the SVU cop, right? He plays yeah. cops on the TV shows. It's not personal; it's business. <laughs> That's for Ice T impersonation. He's he's a he's a pretty bad actor. Yeah, he's a pretty bad actor. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a weird show for him to be a bad actor because um, it's like sexual assault. And it's just like, listen here, I thought that you were over there and did you maybe rape that woman? <laughs> That's a terrible iced tea. <laughs> you don't think it's good? <laughs> it's a limited, it's a limited iced tea. Yeah, it almost just, <laughs> it's almost more of a, a dusty than it is an iced tea. It's like it's like my Italian guy. My I have limited. Yeah. Hey, oh, like it's very I'm limited. Gonna, very limited. I promise. I this. I promise you, especially the people that pay a dollar twenty-five. No, a dollar fifty. Oops. Um, a dollar fifty. Yeah. Um, dollar fifty. That's the. I promise price. you that I will have a good iced tea impersonation by Christmas. I'm gonna work oh, on yeah. it, and it's gonna be a part of the show. It's not personal. It's business. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That one's not bad. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, I I can grow. I'm, that's why I said it's limited. It's limited. If you just say that, you're good. I call them micro impersonations. I don't think I invented that, but I think people call them. It's when you can do like one or two words, like "wow," of like Owen Wilson. Like you can't do anything or beyond that. I used to listen to a show that called them limited fakes. Like they would really? say, like limited fake Shaquille O'Neal like and it's a oh, mm-hmm. big diesel like they would just do the oh, big, 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 big shot diesel big shot diesel baby. <laughs> like and that would be it they would just consistently say over and over big shot diesel baby big big shot <laughs> diesel big big shot diesel baby and like that's it it's limited fake yeah. limited fake Shaq so that would be limited yeah. fake iced tea like, <laughs> <laughs> back to business <laughs> He shot your ass. You damn right I he shot, shot your you. ass. He gonna shoot you again. You no, want another no, one? Cause no, he crazy. No. I can't handle this. I'm crazy. I can't handle I'm this. Cra- it's on my hand. You wanna see it's crazy? I'll show you crazy. It's on my hand. You fix the game. It's on my hand. Tell me what a buy is. Where is you better tell okay. me what a buy is. Okay. Okay. Leave. <laughs> you two punks. Been protected Omar this whole time? Pays well. No benefits, but we get those from the day job. Should've known. Bastards. I had an intuition that they were going to be bad cops, like. But I've also seen this movie twice before. But I have like, like the ability to like after six months, it's like I'm watching the movie for the first time again. Like I just have terrible memory when it comes to things I've watched. But I think subliminally, I probably knew that they were bad cops. But, but this is like, it. yeah, yeah. I I said it in the happening, and I'll say it now. And I'm sorry, but John Leguizamo was like, fuck fuck ugly like he's only gonna be the bad guy he's never gonna be the good guy dude ever it's like it's it's the worst they're never gonna put they're gonna never gonna have this you'll never see a movie that was a john leguizamo vehicle yeah like he's always the bad guy he's a poor man's michael pena yeah that's a good way to put it that's a good way to put it like the timu 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 michael pena Tino, team. <laughs> we're not giving Tino. Away. We're selling it. We're businessmen, and we're enterprising it so that Omar won't have to hide anymore. And all you had to do was just let it go for one day, man. If you would have let it go for one day, you wouldn't be here right now. Who the hell are you? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that makes me laugh, especially considering the fact that this is my deal, that these are my men. Wait a minute. You're Omar? How did they That's not right. know him, though? It was my question. Omar is here. I know what you're thinking. Nobody's ever expecting to see Omar. But he's here. Because why he's like, that? he's Nobody talked about them. They joked about it's a surprise. him. Hold up. With... No, hold up. I thought Omar was 6'4". Yeah, I get confused. Like, by a lot of fun <laughs> here. That part was fun. Yeah. Oh. Is this a um You shot Roberto. You damn right I shot This is my nomination for Parker Posey of the Week. Mostly just because like it's Roberto on Roberto. It's like we like you had to watch 
How tall is Omar now? Oh, this hurts. You shot Roberto. You damn right I shot. I'm impressed. This is my part close to the If Omar shoots Roberto. Anytime a, a Roberto dies, that's, I feel like, it's, it's got to be. that person. Omar shoots Roberto. You know, I like you, little man. Man, what you talking about? Shit, I'm out. Man, what the hell are you doing? What a game? You can pick up ammo off the ground. This ain't no damn video game. Hold on. I got one. Let's go. Okay, listen. Same thing. We count three. What? Jack, what? Jack, what? Jack. So I, I thought. Oh. <laughs> I I clipped that because like there is video game logic that I I think like first off you're killing somebody why are you not stealing their stuff why aren't you taking their money and their armor yeah. and their guns like that just doesn't yeah. seem like upgrade. But uh, so this, this, I like this because it was it was applying common sense to um, oops, <laughs> to this. Um. Hey, listen, same thing. We count three. What? Jack, what? Jack, what? Jack! Oh! I'm sorry. It's time for everyone's favorite game. Does this apology make up for how shitty they were? I mean, moving from foster home to foster home. <laughs> right after our parents died it's hard man i didn't trust nobody with angela can't nobody protect her like me that's how i used to think it's hard to change you know so do you think that that apology made up for how big of a piece of shit they were to him throughout the movie uh God says to say yes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, man, not really. Like, <laughs> but I, I don't really, I don't really take it personally how he's been because I wouldn't care. Like, I like, yeah, I'm kind of, and I think that's how he feels. Like I, Kevin Hart's actual character, yeah. he's like, you know, I, we're not in the Middle East. I don't have to buy her from you. So, yeah. like, him apologizing was really just so he could clear his conscience, not necessarily mm -hmm. so Kevin Hart could feel better. He could care less. Yeah, like I think he wants. I think he wants his approval. Like his character wants it, but he doesn't. Like even when he finally got it, it was more like he got it. Plus, he got to be a partner and got into the account. Like him, yeah. you know what? My wife might have been right. He wasn't thirsty for it, and he got more. So you know what? Actually, mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention Eddie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Done with it. Never again. It's the last time I say Eddie. Just kidding. Hello. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, I need to speak to the Black Hammer. Oh, no, man. You can't talk right now. He's uh, he's a little incapacitated. Ain't nobody constipated. What's this pertaining to? Well, I think there's trouble at his house. What? I heard shouting. When? Uh, just now from Angela. Sometimes I find that I enjoy the movie more when I'm watching it back on here. Like, parts that didn't make me laugh will make me laugh when I'm watching them back. I don't know if that has anything to do with a Warhead. Um, featuring or not but like i don't know I, I do you do you feel the same way or or because I, I like i didn't laugh at all when i watched this like i was like oh that's fun but i like i think i like i like watch uh i watch some of them and laugh uh yeah. and then some of them that i remember i watch in anticipation mm -hmm. and sometimes they hit and sometimes they don't. And it makes me wonder if I thought they were funny at the time because it was like in context with other things or if they just weren't funny at all. Yeah. But and this movie's time, not yeah. like that. This, mo this movie's been pretty much funny from all the clips. Yeah. There's been yeah. a couple of them that don't make a lot of sense. But like, for instance, I mean, I get it, like the ammo and whatnot. But if it's on the floor, wouldn't they be out? True. Who's yeah. Who just threw like a whole loaded clip on the floor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I mean yeah. that, but I have I watch movies like that, and it's very it's very exhausting. <laughs> How many voices did you hear, man? Are you sure those were the names? Yes. Thank you, ass face. 
Oh my god, what happened? You, you look like a monster right now. Kick move! <laughs> we're, we're at the home stretch here. So, this is a, like a post credit scene, by the way. Yeah. So, I was making this movie and I, I was going through because I was like, oh, we made it. The Kevin Hart Memorial Award. Kevin Hart's not going to win it this week. Um, but, uh,. You should give your neighbors a call because I think I killed their dog when I came in hot. I might have second degree burns, people. Let's just say third degree to be safe. Cause my damn. What well, is it, Mike? <laughs> he said. He said. He said, Mike. <laughs> Maybe it's a, it's a post credit scene. So it, does it count as the movie? Oh is yeah, it, no, it happened within the movie. No, it happened within the movie. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, for the whole entire the, yeah yeah no 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 they could even like write it they could write it in the credits like a dog was murdered during this movie like that counts <laughs> like, <laughs> it counts <laughs> my Chris Christopherson I don't know about you bro it was Angela you didn't like Angela I didn't like I I didn't think she could act very like it but I don't again I find this in common with a lot of these movies it's not her they yeah. don't write for her. Mm -mm. They don't write for her to be to be like be anybody. They write for her to be in the be. They write for her to be a plant just over there, mm -hmm. in the corner, yep. sucking up oxygen. That's it. And the they write it that way around her, but that's it. Like the whole thing like, revolves around approval for her, but like she is a very limited character. Never mentioned. Like nobody ever yeah. cares. Like I don't know what she, I don't even know what the I don't even know her job. <laughs> Like honestly, I I think they told me, and I just don't even. Yeah, I, they definitely told us. I don't I don't remember it either. But yeah, I I guess you could say that. And I, I was trying to find the next movie, and I looked on her like IMDb. She hasn't done much, so like she's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I think so she she was my Chris Christopherson, but not because I don't think she can act. It's because they didn't write a, they didn't write it good enough. Yeah, they didn't give her enough of a platform to to act out. Yeah. I'll agree with you. I I I hadn't even thought of one. I don't think this is a bad acted movie. I think Brian Callen's a piece of shit. So maybe. <laughs> well, he got the Barack Obama piece of shit of the. She yeah, piece of shit of the, of the week. week. Yeah. Should we call it that? Because that sounds like we're calling Barack Obama a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama, where's your where's your birth certificate? Piece of shit of the week. <laughs> the the, pe the piece of shit of the week presented by Barack Obama. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's yeah. Brian Callen for sure. He might even win it. Like he might be the season winner. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure there's worse people. <laughs> we haven't gotten to him yet. Uh let's see. Uh Parker Posey. I think that was uh there's... I think I'd give it to him in the beginning. Or honestly, like there is a lot of needless uh, violence in this whole movie. Like people him shooting just shooting the dude in the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Him shooting the dude in the leg and then the dude getting shot in the head. Um, him putting his hands on that child. Like, um, yeah, there, there's a couple. And to mm -hmm. pick one. Yeah. I would, I would say putting the hands on the boy because all it really was is that boy trolled him into getting mad. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a, I'd say. Yeah. Parker Posey is definitely him and the kid. So that's mm -hmm. Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin. Oh, snap. Time to find out who can't keep their hands to themselves. Here's Daniel and Roberto with the Parker Posey of the week. And we, we just actually heard who that was. This is post. Um, I forgot about that, but yeah. Shout no, it's all good. We could just do it again. Just say it's, it's, it's definitely the kid. Kevin Hart and the kid. Yeah, I would say so. For I could sure. probably also do it before. Him. Yeah. Um the new I want to I want to debut an award right now that's not going to be debuted until next movie just because it goes here. Okay. The Ice Cold Ice Cube Comeback Banter. <laughs> that is like it's just like the greatest line in the movie. Okay. It was a good day. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome to yeah. hit that. That was good. 
And then the uh, Samuel L. Jackson relatable line. I. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the award? You got to wait. No, I'm telling you this. Okay. The next, it That's just spawned all of these things. But the Samuel yeah. L. Jackson relatable line is, uh, "When I log on, the people go crazy." <laughs> <laughs> That's us when we log yeah. on. We get like go crazy. TikTok loves us, except for when they don't. <laughs> they love us until we like, you know, respect women. Oh my god, <laughs> those guys respect women. What a bunch of uh -oh. simps! <laughs> what a bunch of simps! Oh my god, you guys even try to listen to Andrew Tate? <laughs> No, uh, I'm married, <laughs> idiot. I'm not a virgin, <laughs> right? I touch grass daily. <laughs> I trim it. I edge it. <laughs> like log off that motherfucker, dude. Log off for time to time. It's the whole world out here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you, TikTok. It's okay, bro. I love y'all. I know you're just sad and upset. Most of you're illiterate, to be honest with you, and it's not even your fault. You weren't even in school for like two years, so. I understand, man. I'm really sorry. I'm here for y'all. <laughs> I'm here for y'all for sure. Yeah, for sure. Salute. Hey, you know what? Salute to y'all. Salute. <laughs> I see y'all. I see y'all in these streets. I see y'all trying. So, Congratu congratulations. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. So, brought to you by uh, Lux Today. Um, www.luxbidet.com. Promo code Bidet Boy, the Bidet Boy. No, just Bidet Boys. We'll get just you fifty. Bidet Boys. Yeah. Just B I D E T B O Y S. Bidet Boys. Fifteen percent off your or, very own ass washer. Just, as Jesus would say, Bidet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Official of the Bidet Boys. <laughs> Large Lung said uh, it that way too, so I don't have to <laughs> say it either. <laughs> Shout out to Jeeves and Large Long, the two <laughs> brand new members of the podcast. <laughs> Man, they're doing some heavy lifting. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Would you give this one? You like I want to say a, a, a three. I think it's a solid three. You think it's a solid three? You know, I'm I'm going to go up. I think it's a solid three point. I think it's three in a travel bottle. I think it's 3.5. This okay. is good. This is good. I would watch this again, man. This was funny. I don't. Well, I, I, I mean, I do. I, I do know what they did, but I don't know why they did it. I know I do know why they did it. Yeah. But I don't know why it was this slow, even though I do know why it was this slow. <laughs> we all know why it was this slow. This is a great movie. Let's just they say wouldn't it let it be great. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't let it be great. They would not let this movie be great. But they did make I another one. I liked it. I think that critics don't like Ice Cube. Yeah. I, I think that he rubbed people a lot, like like really wrong. And like I just think they continuously punish him for that. But this is not a shit movie, and I would definitely watch uh -oh. it again. It drags, though. Yeah. It definitely drags. That's for sure. Yeah. They're, it's like, got some dragginess to it. But it, the, the drags are worth it in the end. Yeah, no, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's I just like, think that, like, if if anything, I agree with critics on for this movie yeah. is that it does, like, it does drag. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think so. Like, maybe a three is if I see this on TV, I'll sit down and I'll watch the whole thing. I think a three point five and up, it's like, oh, if I see this is on Netflix, I'll watch it. Yeah, like I'll go out of my way to watch this movie in a way. So, see, well, the way I look at it is like the, I gave the turtles a three, and if I saw like I'm so I'm scrolling channels, I see yeah. the turtles, I'll stop, and then the second it has a commercial, I You're might gone. leave. Yeah, it, it's no, no, maybe not. It depends, but I'm, I might leave. This movie, less inclined to do so, so yeah. therefore a little bit higher. But it's not Soul Plane, and it's not Grandma's Boy, and it's not close. So therefore, it's a three point five. So I'm like, that's see, that's why I really I said that I would want to put Exit Wounds out of where I put it because it it really screwed my rating up. 
But as long as I just move exit wounds to where I think it should be, everything else makes perfect sense for me now. Yeah. So I respect I think it's a 3.5. I I I do. I'm almost there, but I also don't want to just pick the same rating you do every week. So I'm going to stick with my guns. It's a a three. Although I do think it's better than, than Ninja Turtles. And I would watch it longer. So I feel like a 3.5. I th- that's what my heart is telling me after you said that. Is, that's fine. No, I, I mean, think- that's half the show is like we're trying. That's that's what the, the, the yeah. reviewers do. They try to talk to each other about their. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's just how I view it. Because like the Turtles was. It was enjoyable, man. But it's just like it's. I I've got know. six of nostalgia having watched it recently. I, and maybe in another five years, I'll. I'll watch it but this is like i can see maybe watching this like once a year or once every two years yeah yeah Yeah. this is this is a good one this is a good one for sure it's one of our better ones speaking of which dano what are we watching next week so next week next week we are taking the daisy chain from ice cube to the 2005 uh sequel triple x state of the union in the center of American power. We are at a critical moment in our history. An attack is being prepared. Some men die, so others may live. On a target. Go secure, fuck us down! You never expected. Mr. President, an NSA chapter was just hit. On our own soil? Whoever attacked us knew exactly what it hit. We have to go off the grid now. I want to give you a job. Be just like old times. Last time I ended up in here. Darius Stone trained sniper, top scores, urban recon, demolition, led a mutiny against a four star general. Darius Stone no longer exists. Who the hell am I? You're the new Triple X. God bless America. Now, one man is discovering that the greatest threat to our nation, Secretary of Defense Decker, comes from within. They got tanks, choppers. This man is making a move on the U.S. Capitol. I'll do whatever it takes to best protect this nation. You're going to take the president out. No, Captain. You are. They pull the triggers, and you take the fall. Cleanest revolution in history. Fellow Americans, our union is strong. Everybody out! To deal with these guys, I'm gonna need some serious gear. If you need anything. Anything? I'm not getting a with it. What can my man do? We're gonna have tanks waiting. Let's just pour it. That's what I'm talking about! Wars come and go, but my soldiers stay eternal. I like that. Who said it? Jefferson, Patton, Tupac. Oops, I put the wrong thing on. Triple X, State of the Union. I don't know what Triple X. I don't know what Triple X stands for, but I do know one of the X's has to be Exhibit. Yeah, it, it was. See, in the first one, I think his name was Xander. Okay. So I always thought it was like the X was for Xander, and then in this movie, like his name is Darius. So I don't think the X stands for anybody's name in particular. Yeah, I think it's like a, a code for like 007 type thing from just what i've seen in the trailer yeah this movie honestly looks really good like i'm yeah pretty excited okay. about it i've seen it i've seen okay it. But, <laughs> but i didn't want to give the audience everything because i already told them that we were watching this at the beginning of it and so now i'm gonna just give my rating so let's just go ahead and just do it right now like <laughs> just do it all right now we'll just give two shows of one <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh but yeah, next week we are doing um Triple X State of the Union and then we are entering Ask August as, as Jeeves August, uh, the official uh surgeon of the B Day boys. 
Yeah, the this is <laughs> of the B Day Boys, <laughs> which are uh, great movies. Yeah, yeah, got Shark Tales coming up. Like, yeah. what a goat pick! By <laughs> like, I love it. I was like, hey man, um, if you need help, like with a copy of the movie, uh, let us know. Like, we'll, we'll send you a file. He's like, nah, I got it on DVD. Oh, God, DVD. <laughs> Hell yeah! I read. So, I was like, my guy. Like he yeah. he he loves this man. He loved that movie. Like, and it's just so funny. Like, just a, a talented wrestler. He's just like, like, hey, what do you, what do you want to watch? Like this kids movie, and it's our first animated movie. Yeah. Uh, that we've done. So, man, uh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I am kind of bummed that because eventually I want to do Wild Wild West. I don't know if you've seen that with Will Smith. Yeah. But if given well, the I opportunity, think, well, well, here's here's what I thought about that. We can take any movie from August and Daisy Chain from it. Okay. Okay. So you have four choices that you can pick from. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. So we'll just do that. Okay. So well, if then. you if you wanna if you wanna go with with that, we can or we can rock paper scissors to see who's got well no who do you you pick state of the union so i guess i'd have first pick after after august yeah so if yeah we can even remember we'll do we can rock paper scissors and start it over we could do a draft i mean it, it we'll figure it out uh, speaking yeah. of draft um we just did a uh white basketball players draft. yeah we did a, a white basketball players draft which turned into let's see who can name the most white basketball players so it's just us trying to name every white basketball player we can have um that's the kind of stuff you can expect for a dollar fifty and Honestly, i think the best part value the best value. part is you literally will not notice it's gone like when is the last time that you paid you got something that cost a dollar fifty Unless you like, guys, went I to the paid for it. Guys, I paid for it. Like, it didn't. I didn't even notice. Like, yeah, at <laughs> like at all. Yeah, like I, th- I didn't even notice so much. I thought that I like I, I they didn't charge me. You know, like when they like charge you a penny just to make sure your bank account works. Same thing. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Same that's thing. what I yeah. thought. Oh, like, uh, oh they're just it. they're just seeing. They're making sure I got money in here. Got it. Yeah. 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 That's like maybe half of like if you're ordering uber eats that's like half of the processing fees oh man no we are less than uh instacart fees we're less than doordash fees we're no 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 we're not anywhere near those kind of fees you're yeah, right yeah. we're like half a quarter something like that <laughs> like we're not stealing your money like we are <laughs> giving you value yeah like, if time no, is money no, no. then we're getting like 10 cents an hour a month on these things I'm getting 10 cents a minute or 10 cents every 10 minutes that's that's about wait well no if you think of like all of the content so let's say true so we've been doing like this for about two hours. hours yeah four or five <laughs> hours a month um i don't i don't even want to think about the math so we that. still we would still owe them 30 more minutes to be paid 10 cents every 10 minutes we would still owe you 30 more minutes yeah that's what so, we're doing for you guys like <laughs> come on man come on guys reach in your pockets reach in. <laughs> rob somebody who cares i daniel won't tell you to do it i will i'm not a above it rob somebody like go pop them over the head and steal a dollar fifty put it in your bank account and give it to us we won't tell anybody every time you see a take a penny leave a penny just grab a quarter <laughs> like 150 yeah. times yeah <laughs> no like the resort five times a quarter penny oh a quarter oh, a I thought you said, yeah oh i take a penny i was like yeah, just clean out your couch times. Good. clean out your yeah. couch clean out your car and guess what panhandle you <laughs> go get a sad sign and just panhandle please give they me a dollar give you a... so that i can enter the splash zone just like just hold on a sign like i don't i don't know like yeah. i want to listen to bidet boys like We'll 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 wash car window to listen to bidet boys like yeah. whatever I don't know so but it needs I'm to be gonna, something you guys I'm do make it. A proposition if I ever see any if anybody ever comes up to me in public and they say hey 
I'm in the splash zone, I will give you a dollar fifty right there on the spot. I will Venmo you a dollar fifty if I see you in public. <laughs> yeah, if you if you walk up to me and says if you walk up, no, it can't be that. You gotta walk up to me and say one of the inside jokes. Yeah, I don't care which one. You gotta say something, something that only yeah. we will all know. And, <laughs> and if you do that, I will give you a dollar fifty. That way, even if you're not a member. Like you, you can just become one, or you can just take my dollar fifty like an asshole and not use it. Yeah, that. yeah, it's up to you. But it is. That's say, the beauty like, of it. There is a chance that like people that we know listen to this, so True. you don't count. If we know you, no, no, it doesn't count. I'm not paying Mark James a dollar fifty. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will, Mark, if you want it. <laughs> I will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I paid I paid Mark James more than a dollar fifty before, but like. Yeah. If he, if if Mark James walks up and says, "Hey, welcome to the Splash Zone," I feel like I don't have to pay him a dollar fifty, but I think maybe I do. <laughs> Mark, if you walk come up, up and say us, that, if you come up to us and in a Barack Obama <laughs> accent say, "You are now entering the Splash Zone," I'll give you. That's $2. not bad. That's not a bad limited fake Obama. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad limited fake Obama. I like uh, that. So you I will do that. I, I like promise. that. I also promise that I will have an iced tea impersonation like down pat by Christmas. If you ask Dan for an iced tea impersonation and he doesn't give you a good one, he will also give you a talk <laughs> for listening to him try. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually legally obligated to. But yeah, this has been Bidet Boys next week, Triple X State of the Union. Uh, after that, Ask Jeeves August. We're going to have uh, Twilight New Moon and Santa Slay. Um, Turbo, as a Power Ranger movie. Power or Ranger, just a Power yeah. Ranger movie. One of the yeah. two. <laughs> it's morphin' time either way, baby. It's morphin' time. I wish a putty would. <laughs> <laughs> He's Both of them are in it. Oh, yeah. oh wait. Well, Tom, Tommy's in both of them. Tommy's yeah. going to be in both of them. But I don't know if Jason's in... I don't know. Maybe. I, I think we. I would. Would you wear a I wish a putty wood shirt? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 For sure. By the way, to... did you know? Did you know that Jason, the guy who played Jason, yeah. got caught up in a PPP scam? That makes sense. Like, like he went to jail for like scamming the 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 uh, payback First loans and stuff yeah, or whatever. Yeah. That, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudy from the movie Rudy got caught up in like a pyramid scheme. Like, no. yeah. <laughs> I forgot who I. There was someone I saw the other day that was arrested for uh, like the Capitol riots. Oh, it was the dude like, from um, um, uh, Bob's Burgers. He was also in some like other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Pesto, Jimmy Pesto from Bob Burgers. Yeah, he was he's involved in the Capitol riots. That's what it was, dude. Oh my god, like what a world! Oh my god, man. By this time, you guys already know this, but like, yeah. the president got shot. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I guess this could just be like the parts that go into the after the show. If you want, we can just do that from here. Nah, y'all get to keep this. Is just like this is kind of what you guys will get. For a dollar twenty-five a month. Yeah, there you go. We'll just Maybe. do that. We'll just but yeah. Yeah. We'll so talk about politics, not even just American politics. Um, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good for a couple of British politic banter's. I'm good for, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm good for some for some German politics, some Scottish politics. I'll I'll regale you with tales of Stephen Flynn and the fucking Scottish National Party if you want. Like oh, fun fact. You know Joe Hendry, the wrestler. Yes. His Actually. dad is like a uh, like a pretty um, senior member of the Scottish National Party. Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, let me look it up. I just know I haven't seen him wrestle a day in my life. I know him from that song. Yeah, I, I haven't. Like that's I don't... that's the best thing he's ever done. Like because like I I great like i don't i don't know who you are i've never seen you wrestle but i know who you are when someone says you know joe henry oh yeah absolutely 
so he's the nephew of politician Drew Hendry, um, who served as member of parliament for Iverness Narn Badenoch Strapanthi from 2015 to 2024 as a part of the Scottish National Party. Nice. See, like politics, like people are like, oh, I like politics, man. We're... Dude, politics are like a gateway to talk about anything. Yeah. Anything. You want to talk about wrestling, politics? There you go. Joe Hendry. Also, <laughs> Kane. Talk about also, Kane. Talk yeah. about <laughs> Jesse Ventura. <laughs> Jesse Ryan. Ventura. Yeah, we're going to say that. Yep. Oh. Like, I mean, I think Herschel Walker tried once or twice to do MMA, and he's, you know, <laughs> he does. Like, yeah, we can talk it's about crazy season. stuff with politics. Yeah. Tommy Turbo, uh, Tommy Tuberville used to be a yeah. uh, Auburn head coach. Yeah. He's a senator now or some shit uh, like that. It's crazy. There was, I saw this one story that, I don't know. I'm not even, it's going to be like a, a really faded Daniel's TikTok story that I saw like three months ago that involved Tommy Tuberville being a dick to a player. And then later needing his help with politics. And the guy was like, you remember you saying that shit to me and the saying that I'd never be a, or a starter or like all this stuff. And like when he was trying to get like a political endorsement, he's like, nah, fuck you, motherfucker. He said some weird shit to me on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Oh, Talk about, oh, in the words of um, wow. Taylor Swift, karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. Karma is the wind in my hair in the weekend. Karma is a relaxing thought. I bet that for you, it's not. Um, as Taylor Swift she says, always that. Right. she's always right about those boyfriends. <laughs> she's always right about those boyfriends. Like, God forbid, man, Travis Kelsey's going to get some diss tracks about him in a couple oh, of months. I, I hope. Woo, wait. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for them. I'm Are you? Them. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not at all. I don't want to see that. I want to see her. Ha- I want to see her happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that guy. But yeah. I, no, no, not that. That's 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 an annoying couple. Just because he's annoying. She's not annoying. You don't like honestly. Him? She's the most. She's the most hated girl. Who I feel like honestly, she just stands somewhere. Like what is the nothing? Absolutely no one. No one at all. <laughs> and then someone someone hating Taylor Swift. <laughs> Like that's it. Like she she was just there. I mean, yes. Does she like make a big deal out of like fucking green issues and then fly around on a private jet? Sure. But again, so does John Kerry. And John Kerry can't sing any of these good tracks. Yeah. You remember like, John Edwards? The politician John, John Edwards? Edwards? Yeah. 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 Um, my mom is a nurse at um, like a very like uppity like retirement community where um, his wife's mom was a member of in Chapel Hill and she said it was real awkward during that whole cheating scandal. (laughs) (laughs) Damn with the humble brag. Yeah. (laughs) My mama works as one of the caretakers for them, them you know, them ritzy old people, people, people with the golden diapers. He was born uh, with a golden prune in his mouth. My um, here's another humble brag. Uh, my grandmother, may may God rest her soul, she was alive. She used to get her hair cut by Kenny Chesney's mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good brag that's a good brag yeah. let's see do i have any to contribute uh oh yeah and in in, in in us okay i have two my dad will get mad yeah. at both of these uh <laughs> steph curry is our cousin oh cool because dale curry is our no sonya is our cousin and dale married sonya and they obviously have steph and seth yeah uh i've never met any of them it's just something my dad told yeah. me. My dad does know Dale Curry. They played basketball together and hung out. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, also, uh, Sandra Bullock owes my dad $3 and 70 some odd cents. For what? A, 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 a burger at uh, McDonald's. He played on the basketball team and she was cheerleading uh, for, the ba- again, for the team that they played against. Yeah. And they all went to McDonald's after the game and she didn't have any money and he paid for her food. 
and now like he makes the joke where he's like she's so famous now if i ever saw her i'd tell her like hey you remember me like (laughs) (laughs) which back in the day that was probably like a fucking mountain of food too oh man no and it was good like it was real food like it was the good mcdonald's like they cared about you yeah i have they, uh... they 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 didn't care about you. They smoked in the fucking restaurant. But like, you know what I mean. Isn't that wild? That like, you should just be allowed to fucking just smoke everywhere. They didn't care about you at all. They like somebody just walk there, just blow a huge fucking cloud in your face while you're just at the cashier stand. Do like, you want to God, say, smoking or non-smoking? I was like, if you're smoking inside, it's a, it's a, all it's a smoke all smoking. Section. It's all smoking. It's just like, do I do I want to have yeah. smoke blown in my face or not? Yeah. It's just, just you want to be around it. You want to be around it, or do you want it blown right in your fucking eyes? Like, have you ever, have you ever gotten hit with? Um, you walk in and like, yeah, it's it's probably gonna be be a like an hour for for non smoke, but um, smoking, we can get you in there right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the smoke the, did you know you could smoke on airplanes back in the yeah, day you, yeah it's no wild that's yeah. that seems like it's like as an asthmatic dangerous. kid's nightmare <laughs> you know but that that does kind of show that like you know if you go to the bathroom and hit your weed pen, you're okay. <laughs> it's okay. Like nothing's gonna yeah. happen, dude. Like you're okay. Well, you you need to flush the toilet as soon as you blow it out. Because that <laughs> that's like you know a federal fucking crime. So I have not done that. But if I did, I would say that like you need to like stick your head pretty damn close to that hole. So you want to flush yeah. before. Okay. Yeah. Just saying, if I did. You want to flush before so there's nothing in there. Stick your head yeah. really close to it. Like, I'm like, really, like, get in there. Yeah. And then blow that shit out as soon as you're hitting that button. It like, oh, that shit just like yeah. sucks it out. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> if I had, if, if I did it, it would work. But I never, <laughs> I have a similar story about my brother and he's never going to listen to this. So shout out, um, shout out JetBlue Airlines. <laughs> uh my we we went up uh to virginia beach when my uncle passed away a couple years ago and we shared a hotel room together and he's he's a smoker like not a um just like a cigarette smoker and he was just like he's also sometimes kind of lazy so he didn't want to go outside so he like he's like i've got this method where you like go into the bathroom you put towels at the crack of the door and then you turn on the shower and just steam that shit up, and then you just you're sitting there in a fucking sauna smoking a cigarette in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that was wild. <laughs> I, used to, I used to do that for uh, I would uh, man, I did some dumb shit when I was a kid. Like I can't believe I thought half of this shit would work. I would put a wet towel underneath my door, and then I would turn on the bathroom the uh, the fan, turn on the shower. Smoke like a little bowl pack really close to the bathroom fan. And then walk out of the bathroom like, oh, smells like roses in there. (laughs) No. As an adult now who doesn't even smoke in his house anymore because of how bad it stinks, I'm telling you. There's no way I was getting away with that. My parents were extremely nice to me. (laughs) Like to let me get away with that as many times as they definitely did. Yeah. Because they... they, they, (laughs) Man, they overlooked a lot. <laughs> no other way. No other way to explain that one. Shut up, Big Rob. <laughs> no. No, he, he caught it. It's just, it's, it's a big Rhonda. Big Rhonda's overlooking a little bit, helping me out. Like she's just yeah. like, oh, I'm not dealing with that shit today. Whatever. You're okay. You're okay. Your 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 grades are good enough. You're okay. Yeah. Whereas my dad's That's... like, that B's looking a little bit explainable. Like <laughs> Shout out Big Rob and Big Rond. Um, Big this Ron, is... Big Ron do, Big Ron do, Big Robo. Oh man, guys, this has been a hell of a show. Like literally, probably the longest show we've ever done. I will have to circle back with you on that as well. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Bidet Boys.